throw a grenade at unknown bush. That is a massive launch for a grenade. <laughs> I know no one that has ever done that. <gasps> nice Jesus. death gurgle, <laughs> sucking chest wounds. Dude, put the guy out of his misery. End him. All the potential threat areas that could be looking at you and he's just crawling. Hi, my name is Jeff Reeves. I'm a former Navy SEAL, and today on Experts React, we're gonna check out Escape from Tarkov. Now, before we get into today's video, we have some exciting news to share. We're launching a new show called Ask a Gamer, where we are asking 100 gamers like yourselves some fun and possibly polarizing questions. And we would love for you, yes, you, to be a part of the show. We are now taking fan submissions for the next episodes. And if you're interested, you can submit your footage using the link in the description below. We can't wait to hear what you have to say. And with that, let's get to it. I love how they actually have wear marks on the weapons. That's really good detail. With this weapon not up or her weapon not up, at least she's taking cover. There we go, all right. Taking cover while they're sorting things out. Now, probably gets that open space, probably make a more dynamic move. Straight in front. Yep. Open up the door, running straight out. Maybe take a little bit more of a gander before you just run out into a war zone to see if it's clear. Friendlies. Coming right around a corner. I mean, unless you know it's secure, coming right around a corner, just blase walking out. Like, there are so many potential threats looking at you with so many places that a sniper could be looking at you or like working together as a team, covering different areas of fire. Getting behind the, the train, yeah, the, the train car, utilizing that rather than just standing out there. Be better about that. Like, making bounding moves from cover to cover, concealment to concealment. There we go, good. Pause, took the corner, nice. I'm impressed with like the game details of like the, the trees blowing around, all that little stuff. Hammer, bro, you uh, it out, Jesus. Way too much comms talk. Way too much. So make movements from one tree. Use the dead space that the trees are providing. Come off the one, get behind it. Use the dead space to get to another, get behind it. So in the real world, moving through foliage such as this, which looks to be heavily wooded, you're gonna hear rustling, you're gonna hear tree branches breaking. It's very difficult to get through without attracting attention for stuff like that. So that spot where that person is is actually not very good because they're limited in their sight. They can't really see much. So you don't wanna limit your vision. You don't wanna limit what you can see. You wanna have good communication, lines of communication, uh, good visuals so you can see what's going on. They're not in the best spot right now. So it's fascinating, they go and they stop in the middle of a sunlit area rather than bumping up a little more and getting into the shaded area. So again, urban environment or a single person running around. If you're in that situation, it's not the best. If you have the ability to be with somebody else, you wanna be. Get up there, go, get up there. Good job coming up, turning around, well done. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of all that, like going in, picking what you need for your situation, because that doesn't happen in real world. I never had the ability to stop in mid-mission and go switch out my body armor, go pick up a different he helmet. It's like you went into the mission with what you had based upon your intel, and you made it work. So that part isn't too realistic. I get it for a video game, but meh. Now I'm interested to know, if they're all working together on the same team, then why aren't they together? Why do they seem like they're at the four corners of the city all trying to do the same thing? Like people are running everywhere. Okay. Nice death gurgle, <laughs> sucking chest wounds. Dude, put the guy out of his misery. End him. Clearing right? To be honest, if you're gonna be doing something like this, rather than being out in such an exposed area, probably go in, clear a room inside the house, get in there where you're somewhat concealed, do whatever you need to do there, and then come back out. Yeah. Yep. yep. Good. That's a proper way to take a corner. Nice little pine come around without overexposing your body. Now it's interesting. It looks like he's got a subsonic round gun. I'm not a weapons expert, but it, it looks like a, like a nine millimeter 45. Those are long distances to be shooting nine mil 45 on, which a five, five, six round, seven, six, two round would be much better in a scenario like this. That's why we switched the teams. We did away with the MP5s and went to 10 and a half inch jumpers with five, five, six rounds. The weapon was easier to manipulate and still had long shots. Good use of cover, getting in the shadows, working the angles. That's a horrible spot to hold because you're limited in your vision. Like he'd be better to push up a little bit in that. You still use the foliage, but be able to push up. For subsonic rounds, with shooting through foliage like that, depending on the distance of the shot, you can do it to a point, but it's just diminishing returns after a point. Yeah, you can't see sh Sorry. 
Got if somebody didn't know you're there and you're waiting, the action is gonna be faster than your reaction. So depending upon, because of the angles that you have to shoot, somebody could run by there and you're not gonna be able to sh pull your trigger fast enough as they go by, unless they're walking right towards you. Right. So it's almost better, that's why I say either push up to open the angle on the other end, or like pop out around, I mean, do, I mean, I'd probably push up in this because you're overexposed to your right-hand side, but you are very limited in this. Horrible, horrible position. I like the ambient sound. Like that's actually what it sounds like, that wind rustling, all that. It's fascinating, he's overexposing himself to all that on the right. Now again, I'm, I'm imagining that there's bad guys everywhere because they're shooting like a 360. That structure to the right, I'd be more nervous about. Okay. I like the muzzle flashes out of the end. That's really good detail. That's cool. Got one. Good, good pie coming around, engaging. Good, they're finally running across open space areas rather than just casually crossing them. But it's funny, like they're not moving from point to point. They're just making this big long trek, which is good and bad. They're probably pausing a little bit just to make sure you're still good as you go to your next point would be better. I don't ever recall in my career taking a corner backwards like that. So he's back against the wall, going through foliage to cross that area. Why would you not bump up, get on the corner of the vehicle, utilize the steel and I-beam, look for your next point, bound across quickly with your weapon up, get to the next point. Like he's behind the consumer now, he's utilizing the dirt mound up in front, which is great, but get across there. Don't just hang out, like you're not helping anyone. All the potential threat areas that could be looking at you, and he's just crawling. Die, I'm gonna throw a grenade at unknown bush. That is a massive launch for a grenade. <laughs> that was like a 50 yard launch for a grenade. I know no one that has ever done that. Okay. Again, big difference between gameplay and real world. Just coming out into overexposed without your weapon up, without even kind of giving yourself a check. Like video games do a lot of great things, like the detail, the trying to recreate that, but some things are just a bit off that you would never do in real world. So why overexpose yourself? Get back, utilize your angles until you're ready to move. Until you're ready to make the leap over that wall, don't put your barrel past that wall. Because if somebody's on the opposite side and they see a barrel come out, they know someone's there. Same thing around windows and stuff like that. It's always better to keep your weapon inside the window until you're ready to cross that threshold. I never had that many weapons when I went out in the real world. Just a primary or secondary. The best thing they would do in this position, if they were able to in the game, is actually get to an elevated position with that long gun and be able to look down and around and everything. That's what I would try to do if I had a, a sniper weapon like, or even, even the AK like that. If you're able to get a high to figure out where this guy is, do it. This type of terrain to walk through would be hellacious. When we were actually in the deserts and even in training, God, you're going through some of that brush, that would be impervious for you to get through. It'd be too time consuming, too you get caught up in it. So like what we just saw right there, I would never just casually walk through it. You couldn't, you have to figure something out. Okay, first of all, that mill van on the left-hand side with all that weight of those sandbags on top, tell us newer, not older, because that thing would probably collapse if it was rusted out with all that weight on there. And why would he not try to get up in that to utilize the shot or use an angle of it versus being sit open on a staircase? I mean, that's perfect cover. No, no, he had a broken two on that. Too much talking on comms, who cares? Yeah, yeah, heal up, heal up. What was that? Guy? Use of concealment, why you need to do a little first aid. So he just put on a tourniquet in the worst possible place to put on a tourniquet. Yes, you want to do it above your wound, but there's a saying, if you're going to put on a tourniquet, go high or die. If you were to actually have put the tourniquet on appropriately, you go as high up on your arm as you possibly can and ratchet that thing down, not just above the wound. Man, I wish I had a second AK mag. I don't know where I put it. You're seriously wandering around looking for a mag. I just find that kind of funny because this gentleman has run around this whole structure and he happens to be like looking for a mag at the moment when you have no idea where it went. I guess if you're into gear, technical, or just all that stuff, this game is really good because of all the, be able to go through and change things out of your menu, but like I'm not sure what the objective is here, just running around town shooting bad guys, like okay. But this stuff here, this is boring. Running down the middle of the street, just like we never do in the real world. So actually, this is really interesting here, where you have the gentleman on the left that's using the, we call it the military line, where he's kind of up on an elevation, about three quarters. So he's kind of at the crest where he's being silhouetted. If he was down a little bit more, it'd be perfect. Versus RPOV, which is like in this trough, which is bad because anybody can just run up the other side and shoot down at you and you have nowhere to go. They have the elevated position. There's advantages to being three quarters up and there are advantages to the guy being down where he is. But it's, so if you're down on the trough, you need to be going a lot faster than that. So now that it's narrowed down, 
Now I think he's in a good position because he was, if he were too high, then he'd be exposed. But you can see, like he utilized, yes, utilize the foliage around you, utilize your, can see what you can to hide yourself, rather than just being like a Kilroy, popping yourself up and being exposed. Good. Use an elevated position. Why is this light on? It's funny, even in the daytime, somebody will turn on a flashlight, it'll stick out greatly. All right, well, to those of you that thought I was gonna love this game so much, I didn't. But if you wanna see more of Experts React, check out Gameology on YouTube and Facebook. And if you like doing stuff like this for real, check out shadowworksgroup.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. I'm Jeff Reeves. Oops. Makes me want to do it for real. Really? Like I missed doing it for real. You need to drink some Red Bull. <laughs>